there it is. Here's the beauty, the Denali Ultimate. I've been waiting to see one of these in person. I absolutely love this like dark chrome finish. Obviously it hasn't been prepped yet, but this is great. I think this, this looks a lot better than the standard Denali. Really sharp, super classy. I'm gonna go through and kind of look at this truck and kind of just compare some of the differences between the Denali and the Denali Ultimate and uh, just kind of get a feel for this. Uh, this truck. One of the things I noticed right off the bat, just looking in the bed, so this is a 2500, not a 3500. And I know I've had another video where I talk about how much I like that they do the Denali in the uh, the, the front of the, the bed with the, the Spram bed liner. But I noticed these little holes. Um, you can see, I'm pretty sure, and, and maybe this is for some accessory that bolts there, and maybe I'm looking into it too much, but I also wonder if this is for when rain or water comes in, it drains for the truck in the bed because if that's the case that's genius because i've noticed times where just the water doesn't leak outside of the truck uh so if that's the case that's that's a pretty cool feature suspension wise just looks like a pretty standard 2500 hd you don't get the overloads um in a 2500 like you do in a 3500 gonna go over the window sticker here so 2024 2500 hd denali ultimate and there is the money shot. It's some big money, $94,000. Uh, let's see if it's got any of the, uh, it's not a whole lot of options to add, honestly. Floor mats, that's really about it. I mean, they got like some theft guard, but let's uh, let's kind of take a look. So you got the power steps, obviously, on the Denali Ultimate. Let's see, I don't know if you gotta pull the handle, okay. Yep, standard, standard steps. Let's see, are these the ones that turn? I know there's some of these now, you press a little button and they come back. Maybe that's the RAM or something. Right off the bat, I need to go back and look, but this like pattern that's, you can catch your nail on it. This is really cool. It's almost like a, a wood topographical view inside of like the leather. I really like that. Ever since the new uh, Yukon and the new HD trucks and all, all the new interior, I love this like double stitching that goes across. I think it gives it kind of a, uh, like a baseball glove, like old school leather. It just looks really sharp. Then obviously you get the two standard stitching with the embossment around the bottom. This, just like the Denali in the Canyon that I just reviewed, has the wood grain where you can kind of catch your finger in it. It's, it's a nice touch. <clears throat> obviously one of the things where I think GM really hits a home run are their floor mats. It sounds silly. But just look at the coverage here. You get water, snow, mud. There's no way for this to get in the carpet. I mean, it really transitions well. This is where I wish Ford had this level of quality floor mats where there is no carpet gonna get trashed in the inside. Here's this. another thing I forgot that they, they include. That's cool, GPS coordinates for, okay, so now it's all making sense. I'm assuming this is uh, whatever, Mount Denali or whatever, so pretty cool. And then here is your payload, 3,066 pounds. Pretty darn good when you think about a 2,500. That's really good. And now if we go into the trailer information, kind of kind of talks about uh, GVW for the, the total vehicle, 11,350. What's interesting is if you look at that number, that's huge for a three quarter ton. Typically your three quarter tons used to be 10,000 and then it went to like 10,500 and 10,800. That's, I mean, this is literally like what a 3,500 would have been just five, 10 years back. So pretty incredible, kind of shows you the mass, max gooseneck and conventional trailer, max tongue weight for both uh, fifth wheel gooseneck and then um, your standard trailer. And then obviously you got your curb weight and your max payload this is a thing where i wish other manufacturers would do this it just gives everybody there's no questions people don't need to know what's my curb weight what's my payload obviously you have your payload there but having this all down here i think it's just a little nicer to see for for customers and people the interior is awesome just beautiful i mean the denali interior i don't know i think it's the best in its class right now just just my opinion but i don't think the the limited and the ford 
I don't know, it just, it looks out of place. It's too much like a Navigator interior, a little too bougie. This looks like a very classy quality truck interior. I, I like it. I like the stitching around the sides, the double stitching in the middle. It just looks like a really nice construction seat. Let's get in this beast and see how it fits. All right, this is one thing that takes a little getting used to, but the push button being a square, is it's just different. They're just trying to do something different than their competitors. But let's see the startup menu here. This display is massive, just like, you know, Ford, nothing different there. Interesting, buckle seat belt to shift. I'm just curious if I can get out. Let me see, dismiss. I wanna see if I can get out of this menu. Yep, you can. I don't think you can get out of that menu on my Ford when it tells you to uh, buckle up. So that's kind of interesting. The menus on the new GMs are just awesome. I mean, this is a beautiful display. By the way, turn the air conditioning on, it's really hot. There we go, now we got some air. All the gauge layouts, no different than the Denali. All these HVAC controls, all of your engine braking, lane keeping, park assist, tailgate, this is all the same. I don't see anything different here. Layout for the brake controller, nice position. Got a lot of storage right here. Obviously in the Super Duty, the way that the cup holder is, you can move the top piece over to this, but GM put the brake controller here, which is nice. There's a lot of value in that. It's, it's You're not having to reach to the other side of the truck. It's it's closed for, for parking. I really like this area. It's not closed, but it's a it's a nice feature because of, you know, it's easy to get in. You don't have to worry about a, a door, you know, trying to get in. And then obviously you've got your spot for your uh, charging, for your wireless charging. Huge storage inside, nothing different really than some of the other competitors. I like that, oh, you got your, you do have a lighting inside of there. I like that you do have your 110 volt inside, USB. All right, let's look and see what we got for the display here. Wow, this says 100 degrees inside <laughs> to how it is here. Pretty similar display as the Colorado Canyon. I, I think this is pretty similar infotainment software gm is running across the board right now so nothing nothing too crazy there let's look at displays here info button yeah let's see okay that's heads up display that's just adjusting the heads up display i don't know if you can see that or not that again there's your lane assist on the left speedometer on the right compass on the left some of your off-road shows you're in two-wheel drive steering angle inc inclinometers i think that's what you call them i don't know something like that Here's what I really like though about the GM versus the Ford. You can do this right here. You don't have to go into any menu. So if you're going down the road and you wanna see different information, this is this is a great spot, just easy to, to work with. All right, obviously in the steering wheel controls, you can turn on your, I think this is for your cruise control. Then you've got your heated steering wheel, obviously your cruise, set your cruise, taking a call, dropping a call, your voice to text, I assume for like, I don't know, maybe like Siri or Apple CarPlay. I actually, I gotta see if they actually do Apple CarPlay in this vehicle. Okay, so you can change, okay, so that's how you do it. Oh, that's cool. So it's a little different than the Canyon. Wow, that's, that's pretty neat, yeah. Digital. Clean. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. A lot of different options. That's nice, nice, nice touch. Um, all right, interior, fit and finish. I stand by my thoughts. I'm probably a biased Ford guy just because I've had a lot of good luck with Ford trucks, but this interior, it's on point. I, I think this is a far nicer interior. I mean, when I just look at the touches, it just feels really quality. I mean, this is not, this is a hard plastic here where I believe like Ford is, is not hard plastic in that area. But just the layout, the controls, just just feels really nice. I, I really, really love the dash layout. I don't know, I think this like bump up and everything just looks nice. Now Ford does something like that too, but it, it doesn't feel as nice. It just, I don't know, just not as premium as this. This uh, cover around it's the, the steering wheel is kind of like, I'm not gonna call it carbon fiber, but it's got like a billet knurled look, which looks nice. Uh, let's see if you see that. Yeah, actually it does run around the entire interior of the truck. You can see it on that. And then this is all soft touch all along. You got a little piano black here. Wow, okay. I'm just noticing this. 
I bet this is part of the Denali Ultimate. This almost feels like an Alcantara, like a suede material all around the side of the truck. This is like what you'd see in like a 3LT, like Corvette interior. That's unbelievable. I don't know if I've seen a truck, maybe it's just not, it's, it's new to me, but I have not seen a truck with this, this type of material on the roof of a truck. Uh, one little ding here, not a panoramic sunroof. I'm not a sunroof guy, so it's not a problem with me. I wouldn't order a truck with it. Um, they look nice, but they're problematic. That's my issue, that's why I don't order them. But I'm kind of surprised they didn't do a panoramic sunroof in their, in their truck compared to the, the competitors. Obviously, you've got the digital rear view mirror. Uh, GM, I think, might have been first in class in that. This is uh, another little Denali feature pretty neat like I don't know some sort of topographical view like a topo map kind of shows like a little bit of I don't know maybe some valley mountain scene pretty neat let's see uh glove box well I'm not sure what I think about that is it not open huh well that's kind of weird if you have to push it on an angle I am pushing pretty hard doesn't work hmm. interesting um, standard glove box down below looks like a oh, kicker speakers they talk about that there's your hitch adapter for a two inch that's good they put it there uh, this is kind of weird though I don't know I can't open it maybe maybe you got a pull on it no I don't know there we go that's weird maybe it's like it wasn't closed correctly from the factory no, no so it's kind of hanging up again there you go yeah not sure what I think about that personally like it's like you have to really close it hard oh, interesting um here's one of the other knocks i've noticed look at the column shifter now i'm going to put it in drive it kind of blocks some of your display now this is in reverse but if you're in uh, sorry it's not in reverse in drive but it does kind of block some of your view i'm, I'm not personally a big fan of that that's kind of cool. Gives you your front view too. Automatically default to that. I like that. Um, now let me go to reverse and let's let's kind of get an idea of like a 360 view. So I'm assuming this is a default default view. Let's see what different options here. Okay, so you got your hitch down. You've got both your mirror sides down the side. That's good. Ball hitch straight down. Okay. Now let's see. Here's your 360. Okay, so it looks like you can do like the Ford. They move it where this is on the other side of the Ford but you can at least see that you've got that option. So let me, let me go back to drive and let's see if when we put it to reverse, okay, it stays in that menu. Okay, good, I like that. I wonder if that will default to that or, okay, and then this is kind of cool, check that out. Huh, okay, so I wonder if, if you can do, okay. Does not show that. Okay, so it just kind of shows your hitch angles. They actually give you some really nice customization here. I like that. Huh, that's 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 pretty nice. Yeah, so I would say this is this is a little nicer setup than the Ford, in just my opinion, but I mean I kind of like it. It looks like the clarity looks pretty decent too. I, I don't see really any resolution issues. I mean, I'm looking at the sides here and the cement and it, I don't know, it looks like pretty high definition. Now granted too, this will look a lot better once you peel off this, but I'm not gonna do that because let someone unbox their own truck. But heads up display is in a good location. Lots of really nice speakers. That's pretty similar. Um, center speaker, side speakers all your controls there. Steering wheel feels really nice. I mean, it's, it feels like pretty good quality. Um, it does almost feel a little bit smaller diameter. Um, but for me, like when I, when I look at my seating position, I like where my elbow rests. This feels pretty nice and soft. I would say, to be fair, I think the Platinum felt more padded right there. This is soft, but not soft like the Platinum. I think it's a little more, little more cushioning up there. When I put my elbow here, this feels really good. Definitely no knock there. But seating position, this this feels nice. This is also another nice thing. Got a leather cover around the grab handle. Trucks in park. Let's uh let's see what it looks like in the rear. Back doors got the same kind of covering. Really nice Bose machine speaker covers, top and bottom. 
same same leather covering front to rear so that's consistent that's nice they didn't cheap out this is nice gm has the real nice okay so this must be like trailer tpms sensors so that's pretty cool it's got the, that package gm has the real nice storage in this the second row i think this is super cool i don't know how this affects the comfort for people in the second row but i think this feature is awesome i i like it i would store a bunch of stuff in here if i had this truck um storage pretty decent you still have a little hump there not as fully flat as the ford option um heated seats in the rear usb controls um you know kind of surprised i'm noticing it doesn't have a 110 volt in the rear huh okay and then it's got that same topographical view on the seat back pockets so that's nice you don't have to pull a lever either just kind of pull it down not bad let's see got the loops for for your anchors for car seats here you go not bad for second row got the same topographical view at the top of the seats as well you know i'm just thinking about this i wonder if they don't do the panoramic roof because you do get more headroom you know they probably got some marketing study that kind of shows on that but look how much more headroom you do get you know for it, it looks a little bit goofy but it makes sense if you got tall passengers you know um to get a little more coverage there not seeing anything really else on the exterior that kind of screams like denali ultimate like what is more premium i i do like this i think this might be part of the the badging so you can see a little difference between the chrome and the like the black chrome so that's really nice but your denali back bit badge is still just your standard like chrome finish it's not like a dark finish like the the rest of the denali badging i believe these are the same as the standard denali chrome around the windows is the same mirror caps the same and then obviously there you go and that's the black chrome this it's hard to see probably in the video but i think this finish looks beautiful looks really good got your rancho suspension yep and here's another cool thing the lights move looks really cool when you're turning i'll actually show you that front end looks tough i'll put the turn signal on right now Yeah, how cool is that? That's a super classy look with the turn signal fading like that. Great idea. So you got the LEDs here. LEDs here. 99% sure you got the LEDs in the rear tail lights. How's that look? Yep. Oh, you even get the fade in the rear too. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it matches, nice. Let's pop the hood real quick, what this beast looks like. All right, right off the bat, something I like, it's got the hood struts. Some of the trucks don't have that by GM. I'm glad to see they do have that on the HD. Uh, this is for your intake from the, the, the hood. Pretty neat, actually. I mean, if it really requires that much air, you know, this, this engine's really pulling some serious power. Got access to anything behind your fenders pretty easily. They definitely got this motor shoehorned in there. kind of getting an idea of comparing it to the power stroke I mean these are big massive motors and they're both just totally shoehorned in there looking to see is this got a vacuum boost so this still has it looks like a hydro boost yeah this still has a hydro boost brake system where Ford went to a vacuum boost like on a gas truck so that's kind of interesting it'd be interesting to see how the pedal feel is on the hydro boost versus the vacuum boost kind of see the top of the radiator i think this is for the intake also so it's got two intake draws right here and right there you know this engine's making some serious power if it's got to pull air from two different locations there you have it i don't know i think it's a beautiful truck I mean, I, I just like how they modernize this it's less like an old man's truck and more like a modern good looking truck i even just simple things like their roof clearance lamps look really sharp like blacked out just looks tough it's a great looking truck. Right off the bat, honestly, some of the things I'm noticing, less chimes. 
I like, I'm not being overwhelmed. I open the door. Okay, doors open. Let's see, I'll walk out, I'll shut the door, truck on with the keys in my pocket. Let's see if this thing goes crazy. It's just saying missing key, check for key, not hearing anything. Nope, so that's nice. I don't know, the chimes thing can get overwhelming. So there you have it. This is my review of first impression of the uh, new 2024 Denali HD Sierra pickup truck. This is a beautiful, a lot of money. All these new trucks are just absolutely a ton of money, but people keep buying them, so they're gonna keep making them. And it's it's premium. It's by far the nicest truck they've they've made. And I and what I like is I'm not seeing cost cutting. I, I'm not I, nothing standing out where I'm like, oh, they really skimped on this, which is good to see. GM is really uh really trying to give their customers some high value products. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Front camera.